So this is instruction for the hexagonal thinking template. Uh, this is what it looks like when you actually have a finished product. This one is based on 1984, so I can drag this tile anywhere I want. I can add color. I like random colors personally, but you can choose specific colors if you would like. Then I'm supposed to put things together that go together, so maybe Big Brother certainly goes with 1984. Uh, Double Think is a 1984 word. The Cold War maybe is further removed, so maybe we put something that links 1984 to the Cold War. The words are customizable. That's what I'm going to show you how to do. So this is how you make the word list. It's just a Google Sheet. Um, you put them all in one column. It can be more than one word. could be several words. So here I'm just typing in some sciency words here. Uh, once you have this document to your liking, then you just probably title it as a good idea. So titration words. All right, so you save that, but then you download the Google Sheet as a comma separated values table. So to do that, File, Download, Comma Separated Values will work. So for me, this is going to go in my Downloads folder. So here it is, Downloads and Titration Words Sheet. So now I'm going to copy that. Copy that. Boom and I will paste it into the Unity folder for the project I'm working on. So for me that's hexagonal thinking is the folder and I've expanded it and under assets here I can just paste it in. Paste in and, and there it is right here. Titration words, sheet one. Okay, let's see if that works. So here I am in Unity, and if I go to the project file or folder, I should be able to see now the text document, the CSV, that I just put in here. So here it is, titration words, sheet one, CSV. So everything's good so far. So to use the new words I just put in, on the hierarchy, I'm going to highlight the CSV reader. On the right, in the inspector, you see there's a CSV reader script. And there is this public variable called the Excel data CSV. So right now I have hexagonal thinking demo as the source of the words, but let me just take this titration words and drag that into the public variable titration words. There it is. That's all you have to do. And now the script will take it from there. Um, so let me press play. And you can see here on the right the CSV reader script has populated the CSV to split with the words that I put in. It knows that there are only six words to place on the tiles. That's all I put in my uh, Excel spreadsheet and my Google Sheets. And so it makes only six tiles appear. So it's, it's that easy. So just have the teacher give you the word list in this format. They can share with you the Google Sheet or the Excel file, or they can do this download as a CSV. If they don't know how to do that, then you, the Unity user, can do that for them. Then you simply take that saved file, put it into your assets folder, and drag it into the CSV reader script. So you, the developer, 
There are only two scenes that you can use as your template. This one you can see is more tiles. So this I call hexagon 28. There are 28 draggable tiles and there are 56 placement hexagons and 28 actual placeable tiles. If the teacher has fewer than 18 words or tiles, uh, then I recommend you use the hexagon 18 template where the tiles are bigger, easier to read. Okay, so hexagon 18 has 18 draggable tiles. Hexagon 28 has 28. You would probably base that on how many words does the teacher want to use. Maximum of 28 at this time, so tell the teacher that you can't use 35. It won't fit on the screen. 